the great chief in Washington sends word that he wishes to buy our land. He asks much of us. This land is sacred to us. How can you buy or sell the sky, the rain and the wind? The idea is strange to us. If we do not own the freshness of the air and the sparkle of the water, how can you buy them? Every part of this earth is sacred to my people. Every shining pine needle, every sandy soar, every mist in the dark woods, every clearing and humming insect is holy in the memory and experience of my people. The sap which courses through the trees carries the memories of the red man. The rocky crests, the meadows, the ponies and man all belong to the same family. The perfumed flowers are our sisters, the deer, the bear, the great eagle, these are our brothers. The rivers quench our thirst, they carry our canoes and feed our children. This shining water that moves in the streams and rivers is not just water, but the blood of our ancestors. Each ghostly reflection in the clear water of the lakes tells of events and memories in the life of my people. The water's murmur is the voice of my father's father. Our ways are different from your ways. The sight of your cities paints the eyes of the red man. There is no quiet place in the white man's cities. No place to hear the unfurling of leaves in spring or the rustle of an insect wing. The clatter only seems to insult the ears. And what is life there if a man cannot hear the voices of the nightjar or the frogs around the pond at night? <coughs> I've seen a thousand rotting buffaloes on the prairie, left by the white man who shot them from passing train. I do not understand how the smoking iron horse can be more important than the buffalo that we kill only to stay alive. What is man without the beast? If all the beasts were gone, man would die from a great loneliness of spirit. The earth is our mother. Whatever befalls the earth, befalls the sons of the earth. The earth does not belong to man. Man belongs to the earth. Man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. Even the white man whose God walked and talked with him as friend to friend, cannot be exempt from the common destiny. It is the order of nature, and the regret is useless. We may be brothers after all. We will see. Where is the thicket? Gone. Where is the eagle? Gone. The end of living, and the beginning of survival.